Beck from Vets Makes and today we're going to be making a hanging shamrock. This is a shamrock within a shamrock and then a heart in the center. It is a really easy make but a lot of fun to put together. So let's download our asset and I just want to show you the asset number and we are going to go here. There we are. Asset number 408 from the resource library. You're going to find your template there. That is free.creativecraftersclub.com. But if you're a member and hold an annual pass, it is hub.creativecraftersclub.com. Now, you can use three sheets, uh, green, red, colored paper. What I find is that I shrink my design down so that I can just use one sheet of each, one red, one green, red for the heart and green for the shamrock. You really nice, need a nice glue and some string or ribbon for hanging the shamrocks and that's all you're going to need for this project. So let's start by getting our asset number 408 and we're going to bring it into design space. I'm going to just click on my upload button here and I already have mine uploaded so I'm just going to click on my view and grab my shamrock down here. Here it is and the name of the file of course is hanging shamrock and I'm going to add it to the canvas and then I'm going to click on view. There we go. So this is exactly what we need. Now this is going to make a fairly large one. This is 8.75 by 8.75, but I want to make a smaller one today. So what I want to do is I'm going to lock this into position. And I want my width here to be 5.5 inches. And that will allow me to put everything on one sheet. Now there is nothing else I need to do here in Design Space. There are no score lines, nothing to worry about, but just a simple template. Now you can change colors, you can do whatever you want with it. I'm leaving everything green, but I'm going to put everything on one mat. And let's go over here now. You can save it. I better save mine because I made a change here. Mine, I just called mine Hanging Shamrock. And I'm going to click on Make It. Oh, I know one thing I forgot to do. Let's just click Cancel here. Because we have to glue it back to back, I need to actually duplicate it. I'm just going to click on Duplicate. I could hold down the Alt key, but I'm just going to duplicate it and then just pull it out here so we have two because we're going to glue these back to back. So I'm sorry. So let's go back and save this once again. And then I want to click on make it. And there we go. Now I'm going to do some paper saving ideas here. I'm going to move these into each corner. I'm going to take these little guys and I'm going to actually have them cut out in the middle of each one since they're using the same color paper anyway. Now I want red for the heart, so I'm just going to stick them down in the bottom corner here and then I can have a smaller strip of paper at the bottom. And this one I can get away with. Now this is 6 by 12, but I have 8.5 by 11 paper, so what I'm going to do is use my cutter. I'm going to cut some sheets 6 by 6 and I can put them side by side and I will be able to go over and cut those out with a little bit of red at the bottom. I'm just going to click continue here. Select my device. It just take a second or two. There we go. Now I'm going to call this medium cardstock. It's actually a glitter, but you can use any cardstock that you want. I'm just going to go with medium. All I need is my fine point blade here. I just want to show you how I'm putting my whole thing together. So here I have a couple of sheets. Um, this is just a, a shiny paper that I bought at uh, Michael's. Brown backing, so it's just a green and a red. And of course I cut out some sizes that would fit with this. And I've now placed them on top of my mat. I put a piece of the red at the bottom and these are my two six by six pieces. Not exact, but 
we're going to have them cut here at the top the six by six and the red piece is going to go at the bottom and then we'll be able to put this whole thing together now all I needed was my fine point blade and we are going to come back over here just going to measure my mat length And then I'm going to be able to push it and it's going to do a really quick cut. This is a Maker 3 that I'm using. It's a great machine because it it really cuts quickly. And just take a second or two to be ready and then we can start putting our design together. We're just about ready here. Now I'm just going to click done here and then we're going to put together our hanging shamrock. So now everything is ready. I've got my Barely Art Glue ready. I'm just put that aside. I've cut a length of string ready to go. I cut about 12 inches but you could make yours longer if you want to. Just put that aside for now. I have a little mat here I use for gluing and now we have the pieces on our mat. So I'm just going to flip my mat. There are my two hearts. Just put that aside and then I'm going to grab all of my shamrock pieces and got some pieces that I don't need. I might keep for another project. Just grab it off of here. This paper comes off quite easily, so I have a larger piece and a smaller piece inside here. I'm going to move that off to the side. Same with the extra one over here. should have two of each piece as we grab it off. One off. There we go. And an extra piece here. Okay, let me just put my mat away. There we go. Now we have everything that we need here in order to put this together. Now obviously we're going to have to glue these things back to back. But what I want to do is when I glue this back to back, that's one thing. I need to leave a space at the top so I can feed the string a little later. And of course the string's going to originate inside our little heart and these will need to be back to back as well. So there's a couple of ways we can do this. Just want to make sure everything matches up. What I think I'm going to do is just grab my little hearts first and I just want to make sure that my string piece is going to work through. Now, for the string, you don't need a double string that's going to go through everything. You need a single piece to go through the first part, and then when you have the end piece, you will then glue in the second piece only at the top. So let me just move that aside. Let's just start here, and we will get our heart put together. And remember, it is a single string piece that we are putting here. Just gets a little bit. Don't need a lot. Move that off to the side. Let's get our string into the middle as close as possible. And add our other heart on the other side. Now this glue glues 
pretty quickly so I don't have to worry too much about it falling apart. Just got to get my fingers in there, make sure it's straight before I press it down too hard. And then I'm just going to press it into place, make sure that it sticks. If any extra little pieces like this stick out, you can always trim those off later. Okay, so we have our first piece here. Now our next piece, same thing. We are going to have the string come through one piece at a time. So let me just take the flip side here. So you can decide where you want it to go through and center your heart. And then the string piece will fit right at the top. So I'm going to take my glue. I'm just going to hold this gently here. Put a little extra on both sides of the string so it doesn't move. You don't need a lot, just a little bit. And I'm just zigzag around just a little bit here. There we go. Trying not to move it too much. There we go. Now I want to be able to line this up. If I line up two sides I should be good with the rest of it. There we go. Once I figure I have it lined up then I'm going to give it a good press. And now we have the first part done. Don't worry if you get a little extra glue everywhere. It's not going to hurt anything. All right, last piece. We're going to come through here. Now we have to make sure that you get your string lined up at the top, but this time you're going to bring down the extra piece of string. You're just going to have it glue just at the top like this. Now my finger's in the way here, and you want it as close as possible here. And this is where you're going to start to apply the glue on the outside. I'm going to add a little extra coming across the string. I'm just going to give it some zigzags here for the rest of the glue. It's hard to work these things if you don't want to move them too much. There we go. Here. Now the more difficult part here is making sure everything is lined up. I'm going to line up my string at the top. I'm not pressing anything down right now. I'm just going to hold things in place till I am happy with the alignment. I can just push my string over just a tiny bit. There we go. Right, looks good. All I have to do is press it into place. Now this uh, particular glue does not leave paper bubbles, which I really like. Just you can always add more glue later if you want. Now I'm just going to hold this up, and this is what our beautiful little hanging shamrock looks like. That was really easy to put together. Now here's one I had done before in shinier paper but a larger size. And this is with glitter. So you can do it either way. They're just a lot of fun to put together and a great way to decorate. So I hope you had a lot of fun with this wonderful hanging shamrock.